Aspirants who are willing to get into this nursing courses in various colleges in Chhattisgarh have to make sure that you are passing out this examination which is called as CGBSC nursing. So in order to crack this examination candidates you have to make sure that you are having a well aligned preparation whilst knowing the examination pattern and syllabus. So if you want to know about this examination pattern and syllabus you have to make sure that you are watching this video till the end. So with that note, I would welcome you all to our channel Precious Now where we provide informative videos regarding entrance exams and in this video we are going to focus about CGBSC nursing examinations pattern as well as the syllabus part. So where can you access all of this information? You can get it from exams.freshesnow. All you have to do is head over to Google as I'll be showing you. Then type in here CGBSC nursing. Syllabus, Precious Now. So as you search, you can see the first link itself is from exams.precious now. Give a click on this and this particular page would be opening up for you. Heading over to the basic introduction as to what the examination is about. Then we will be proceeding for the brief overview. So the examination is conducted for 100 marks. There would be 100 multiple choice questions or objective based questions from the subjects of nursing aptitude, general English, physics, chemistry as well as biology. And there would be 20 questions which would be asked from each of the following subjects. The time duration of the examination is going to be for two hours and further when before we get into the main details of the examination pattern which also consists of the marking scheme I would like to request you all to please join our telegram channel where you would be getting all of the instant updates regarding these entrance exams as well as don't forget to subscribe for staying tuned for more informative videos like this regarding any entrance exams that you are preparing for. Now as we head over to the details let us get into the overview. So the conducting board is Chhattisgarh Professional Examination Board and this is for nursing getting into the nursing courses and this is a UG state level examination here you have the official website access as well in case if you want to cross check any of the information you can always head over and do your cross check regarding any of the details now getting into the marking scheme or a detailed examination pattern of CGBSC nursing exam now as I mentioned there would be 20 questions in each of the following you have nursing aptitude 20 questions marked for 20 just like physics chemistry biology biology which consists of botany and zoology then you have 20 questions in each then general English you have 20 questions and marked for 20 so total you have 100 questions carried for 100 marks this is an objective based type questions which is going to be conducted for two hours. The syllabus for this particular examination is, fall, is as follows starting with nursing aptitude. Now even though you are having a basic awareness about nursing or if you are knowing only the foundational concepts there are other major concepts that you have to actually be focusing on. So you have to brush up your basics as well as the fundamentals as well as the number of topics that I am going to further mention for you. Now the nursing aptitude consists of what is the nursing profession and its role in India, how are the contributions are being heading forward, what are the various important departments that are being in this nursing department in various hospitals, then what are the basic health services this nursing healthcare is being provided with, national health programs in India and its further assessments and alignments with the various areas and distributions. What are the other programs or the other initiatives that are being taken by government of India or any of the major organization or institutes which are being contributed to the people or for the people. Maternal and also child health. What is nursing contribution? How is nursing being helpful in these departments? Health information, education, communication, technology and how nursing is being adaptable to these technologies perspectives. Then you have basic medical health care where it will be useful in any sort of departments or any sort of postings. Next we head over to the next subject which is physics. Now physics as we all know we will be starting off with the basic concepts, definitions, fundamentals and various other 
different concepts which we which are being related to the basic understanding of the topic other than that you will be focusing on units and dimensions uniform velocity and acceleration force and inertia then you have motion then hooke's laws what are the different kinds of laws as well as their implementations as well as you would be focusing on universal law of gravitation the application and the further procedures work energy and power theory of gases periodic motion and then electromagnetic inductions etc now just like physics even for chemistry as well now chemistry other than your basic concepts you will be also including the formulas and the patronizing of the topic so we will be starting with structures of atoms chemical bonds nuclear chemistry solution solid state chemical equilibrium thermodynamics and thermochemistry electrochemistry uh, organic and inorganic chemistry then you have biomolecules electrochemistry surface chemistry then if possible you can also include the block elements then heading over to botany you have structural organization of a cell then you have genetism tissues ecosystem breeding of plants preservation of food what is the plant's role which is contributed to the human welfare then for zoology you have development of uh, genetics structure and functions of animal life economic zoology what is the history anatomy and uh, theories of origin of life what are the effects of diseases what are the illness that has been caused the prevention cure etc then for english uh, grammar would be the basics or knowing the words knowing the meanings of the words sentence formations and sentence constructions would be the start of any of the language other than that reading comprehension writing skills and implementing or using literature textbooks to reframe the understanding of the language is going to be the part of the examination if you have any other queries regarding this don't forget to place them in the comment section thank you so much for watching till the end and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and stay tuned for more informative videos like this from freshisna thank you